Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's dungeon time. Or should I say, it's bacon time. We are going to go and kill the swine prince. That is the plan, although I did overspend a little bit on upgrades beforehand. I think I may have spent some on the wrong people, but we have our, like, pig team six here. Okay, we need a better name than that. We're not pig team six. Uh, sausage factory? No, that's probably not good either. We're gonna go kill the we're gonna go kill the swine prince here. The boss, level two boss of the well, okay, he's level one boss of the warrens. I guess our warrens is up to low. We're approaching level two there or something. I don't know. Whatever it is, we're gonna go there. We're gonna kill him, even though we don't have as much money as I'd like for provisions because what we do have is. Carl here, who is up to like 60 hit points with all these health items. We've got two highwaymen, Gabe JD, who doesn't have any bad traits really. He gets bonuses in light. We gotta make sure we have enough torches because he gets bonuses in light and then he has. Okay, he's got a ton of accuracy from these items because he's a little bit lower level than Matheson, who's gonna get some accuracy from his sun ring as long as we keep the light up. And by the way, he has stress resist here and hard skinned and just all kinds of like crazy good stuff. And then of course we've got Maggie Stark, who yeah, she has some pretty serious negative properties that detract from her ability to shoot things. But we've uh, I've given her the uh, I've given her all the minus dodge items basically. She only had five percent dodge anyway. Or okay, she had ten. Per she had ten dodge from her armor, but I've got minus twenty dodge worth of items on her, so I've got to be getting an advantage somewhere. This thing is plus eight percent, eight percent protection and twenty percent max hit points, so she's she's actually pretty tanky, even though she's in the back. Another ten percent hit points from the bloodthirst ring, and she needs less food or no food, basically. So yeah, he's got minus. Gabe has minus one speed from that. Let's just get going. Let's go kill the pig. We can. We are going to need a whole bunch of torches. I mean, this is a fairly long dungeon. Although we will get some light back when we. Uh, oh, that's too many. We're going to get some light back when we uh, when we use the fireworks. So maybe I don't have to buy too too many torches. We are going to need a bunch of food. Although again, we need slightly less because of the bloodthirst ring. I'm not going to worry as much about like the 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 key and the treasure related stuff because because we just want to kill the boss. That's the important thing. We can skip items a lot of the way through, hopefully. Maybe we may not be able to actually. Somebody may be OCD, but we're gonna try and skip items as we go through. So we'll just get things to help us, with the boss. Um, we're gonna get some bandages and then go one less food. And I could get or one less. No, just to get another torch. Whatever. That's what we've got. We've got not much stuff. Hopefully it'll be enough. The ways and rituals of blood sacrifice are... That's what we're going for. Those from beyond require a physical vessel if they are to make the crossing into our reality. You say so. The timing of the chance is imperative. Without the proper utterances at precise intervals, the process can fail spectacularly. That's a big dude. And Pig Rambo there. Okay, come on, game. Let's load this pig. There we go. All right. So, what is our horrible layer? Oh, it's one of these gritty sort of ones. Well, let's go up here and scout this just in case. I really don't know where he's going to be, but this is not that big a dead end, so... That'll be fine. Do we have anyone who's got, like, OCD or anything? Mania. Craving for alcohol. Hylomania might cause someone to open stuff, maybe. I don't know. No, we, we shouldn't have any rogue, like, openings. Empty sack. Okay. Good job checking that sack for trap, Carl. Wow. Good job dodging that trap, Carl. No complaints there. Okay, we still have in a high level of light here. 
That would be some monsters. They're surprised by our torch. Take that. I don't know why our torch is surprising you, but we're going to take advantage of it. Um, first off, everyone's at full health, so Maggie is going to attack, even though I've loaded her down with anti-accuracy items and never cured her anti-accuracy condition, so she's probably going to miss, but we'll try anyway. Right, and what's, what's the sun chance on this? Is 110. It's not very good against him. We'll just try this guy. Nice job. Send that punk. He's gonna die from something. I think he's gonna die from massive tr AOE trauma. Why did you get the seven damage on the weakest one? I don't know. But we're gonna keep shooting because we got the surprise round. Boom. That's how we roll. Blossoms. Okay, so we do want to kill someone now. This is going to do 5 to 11 damage, so it's going to... If it bleeds him, he'll die for sure. And even if it doesn't, there's a good, good chance. On him, 5 to 11, it would have to roll at least an 8, so middle of the range. And that's if it causes the bleed. So I think we're just going to kill this guy and not get any like permanent diseases from him. Uh, you can try and stab him, though. Nice job. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. That's an okay line from the announcer, but I think what he really if means is... If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Nope, not that. I think what he really means is... Flawless victory. Flawless. Okay. Chest it up. It's an heirloom chest. Uh, we don't have any keys. Just gonna try. He resisted the trap, but we didn't get anything. So, boo. Uh, that's another dodge craziness. Although, again, like, what's his dodge? He's got 20 dodge. Freakish 20 dodge. He's got 15 dodge. And Carl's got 15 dodge. No, no protection. Just a lot of hit points. Uh, books? Okay, um... Who's, he has fewer traits. Let's, let's see if we can get him some traits. Unremarkable. The answer being no. Okay. You want to get more light going on? Some of us have bonuses when over 75, so we definitely want to be lit all the time. Wow. What an exciting room. Oh, we did get scouting, though. That's the other benefit to the light there. That is an empty room, so we don't have to go down that dead end and face that trap. Go this way, and then we should really, even though we've taken, like, no anything, I'm thinking we should rest soon to get our buffs. Well, I really should check our rest skills, shouldn't I? So we can get the stress resist from Carl. We knew, knew what to expect from Carl, pretty much. We've got... Uh, we don't need that. Gabe can, of course, clean his guns. That takes three, and that's pretty good. Matheson doesn't have the, the stuff to clean his guns, unfortunately. I could have unlocked that, but I was already low on money, and these things are actually really expensive. They cost, like, 1700 if you don't have any upgrades. Is that improved scouting chance by 30%? Nah. This thing is awesome, though. For two, you're less likely to be surprised until the next camp. That is an excellent, excellent skill. So that would be five of our things accounted for. And then she can give stress resist and reduce the chance of ambush. So, yeah, okay, we're not getting as much out of the rest with this particular group. I think it's actually okay if we just wait. I'm not even going to mess with that thing. It doesn't look very good. I don't need to, and anything that seems dangerous, I'm actually just not going to check, because again, we don't, we don't have a lot of, like, special items for that stuff, and we just want to find the boss and exterminate him. Okay, that's a blight for one, yeah, that's, can deal with that. Resisted! Okay, so... These two have yet to go, so I should probably kill one of them. I mean, there's a small chance that I could kill them with the AoE, but no. Let, let's just kill one of the ones that can go. Executed with wow. If I had that roll, I might have killed three of them with my uh, shot. Strike. Um, he's taken a tiny amount of damage. It's really not even worth healing. Let's just see if I can stun this guy. And I can. No attack for you. Now we can start AoEing them. Because... They've already gone, and we're going to have another chance to pretty much obliterate them here. Yeah. I don't know if I mentioned, this is like a team of killing machines. Uh, they're killer. There's 
It would be nice to single target heal him, but it's not a big Remind deal. Yourself that overconfidence uh, torch is, is good. And insidious killer. We don't have the stuff to use with the table, like the herbs or whatever, so we're not going to. Uh, there's a fight down there. We don't really need to fight it, though. We really just want to scout and find this swine hole. Sack. We'll check sacks. Sacks are not especially dangerous. In fact, I'm not sure you can get anything bad from sacks. Eat. We will eat. He's the only one who gained any health. Then again, we also took one less food because of the uh, Ring of Bloodthirst that Maggie starts calling around. All right, let's go this way. Assume that he wasn't within two squares of the entrance, but who knows? We're not getting a lot of treasure, but we're also not getting a lot of like fights. I did avoid one with my scouting, but there's a fight. Do we surprise him? Oh no, we don't, because I didn't buff up my. I forgot to buff the light. Well, that was poor. These things are extremely stun resistant. She's only got about a 40% chance to stun them, and she's only going to kill them on a crit. So I am actually going to take the time and heal him. Oh, it's only down three. How did he take so little damage from that blight? Like, I'm sure he took actual damage somewhere. Oh, no, it's because he ate two, got two from the food. Whatever, his, his health is actually so good, I might as well zap one of these guys, just in case. Okay, I, I'm not blaming her for misses, because, again... I'm the one who has not cured the yips that she's had for friggin' ages. Okay, uh, only one of them is already gone, so it would still be worth killing this one. Although it's very bleed resistant, you know what? There's actually not a great chance of killing it with that. It's got nine hit points. I've got to roll nine or ten out of the range, so, like, that's a 40% chance, even if I hit. Or the bleed, which is going to be, like, a 25% chance or so. No, I think I'm going to assume I can't stop him from attacking. I'm just going to shoot everything. Because now they're softened up. Now our next AoE should kill stuff. Resisting is good. Uh, you can mark me, but I don't think your guys are going to live that long. Seriously. You're, you overestimate your chances. Um, this should kill the carry eater, so sure. Minimum damage on this guy. Okay, now we could use some healing. Um, probably at the single target variety. No, I get two to three out of it. No, let's just do the AoE heal. Look at that. Heals six hit points. Spread out over the two guys, which is actually just fine. Okay, you do that, piggy. Didn't kill him, which is fine. It would be nice if Maggie could go again. We don't have the stunning in this party. We just have the killing. Speaking of which, die. This expedition at Thousand Gold Sapphire. Eldritch Slayer's Ring. Plus 15% damage against Eldritch. Minus 16% against everything else. I don't know if I like that. A skeleton key. Hey! It's an heirloom chest. It's surprisingly logical that the guys guarding the chest would have the key. Trinkets and baubles. Then it suddenly Paint becomes in blood. Shut up. Suddenly becomes very old school RPG if this chest has the key to like the next chest. Like, wait a second, what? Okay, well I guess we're gonna go here and see if it is in fact the Swine Prince. Ah, oh, you know what? I should have rested first. We go back. Someone was saying there was a way to select that thing more easily, but I don't remember. I just want to click the door. Not you idiots. There we go. Before we get any backtrack damage. We should rest here because this might be the boss room and I do want to clean our gens first. Etc. Plus our light is low, we'll get it back from this. Circle in the dark. Mostly unnecessary the may yet be won. We all have about 10 stress. On the other hand, we're pretty far in a dungeon. I don't. I think we can afford to spend all our food on this. It's probably stupid, but get the minus 10 stress. It'll heal these guys the tiny amount they need. That's probably dumb, but now we, these are all our camping skills to full effect. So you are going to... Well, okay, first the important ones. You are going to clean your guns. Plus 10 accuracy, plus 20% damage, and 5% crit, only on ranged, but that is fine. 
You're going to get our less likely to be surprised, more likely to surprise the enemy until next camp. We've got seven time units left. So it would cost five to reduce the chance of ambush. I'm not particularly worried about an ambush. We're at full everything. If we get ambushed, we'll just kill it. So I'm going to have you, it's probably also unnecessary, but I'm going to have you give us all stress resist. Except you don't give it to yourself. So we're going to have Maggie give you stress resist. Ta-da! Light touches us. Light. Light touches us, even here. That's her comment. I don't know, that makes me worried. It's like, okay, Timmy. Show me on the doll where the light touched you. Anyway, we're healthy and steeled for the challenge. Let's, like, crush some things. Oh, we did get ambushed because I didn't spend the five time. We had half light, which we don't particularly like. Surprise is not great. Watch us start getting all kinds of diseases and stuff just to take me off. Okay. <sighs> These guys aren't as good from the back, but moving back isn't going to help that much either. I guess you should just try and stun somebody who hasn't gone yet. Uh, we're going to torch it up, though. Because some of us get a lot of benefits from that. Purchase. It is sort Spirits of a waste, because at the end of this fight, this we're going to be at full clear. lights, because you get full light after camp camping. But, okay, all you can do is shoot. Uh, this guy is the only one who's gone. If we got a crit on this guy, oh no, I can't shoot him anyway. Okay, whatever, shoot this guy, because the AoE should be finish this guy off. Okay, boom. Don't hit Maggie, except Maggie's actually really tough with all the gear I gave her, so maybe out of luck there. I'm doing that instead of single target killing him, because I'm hoping that one of our uh, shooters will be able to go first. Like this. It dodged. Ah, uh, there goes my plan. No, plan is back. Plan's back on the menus, boys. That comment makes no sense. Heal everyone. That's fine. Um, you can't shoot anyone now at all. That is pretty lame. If I move you... No, no, he he is actually, like, gone already, so it doesn't matter. It's the end of the round. Wow, this guy's going fast for his, like, speed of three, but still. Um, he needs health the most. Oh, you can't single target heal from here, though, so... Okay, fine. Just heal everyone. I don't want to move you because then he's not going to be able to do anything. Oh, that's really annoying. Oh, he has two hit points. That's less annoying. As victories mount, so too will resistance. So I could bandage her to get rid of that. That's four damage that she's going to take from that. Again, I think boss is probably coming, so we're going to do that. We don't have any food. We're not messing with the barrel. We don't have the stuff for it. We're going to... Um, I was going to... You can freak out and check the pack, but, like, I was literally going to do that with you. I was moving my mouse to click you. I'd already stopped moving. I should have put up the light. It was dumb. Okay! Swine Prince, and this guy directing him. Now again, I have kind of been spoiled on these like early boss fights. Although, you can all, you can kind of figure out it's a trap. If, if you kill this guy, the, the, swine, the big guy here is going to do like an, an MMO boss, like raid boss type in rage. You will just kill through your party until you die. You, you have to not kill this guy, not enrage him. If I could stun him, it would be nice. I don't have guys with, like, a low-power stun zone. We just have to kill through this big guy, who has 100% stun resist. So, she's not going to stun him, that's for sure. Um, let's just single target heal him and get him back up there. Of course, these are the ones who are marked who are going to take damage. But we're going to start just laying on the bleeds on this guy. I just remembered, all my stuff was like to boost their guns. That's not as helpful for that. But this guy's so big that I can shoot him. Like that. That's what I should be doing. Just keep shooting him, critting and stuff. The 
bleeds will do pretty well over time, but look at look how look at that. Look how little a chunk of Carl that took out. There is a lot of Carl to go around. In these two like I'm trying. No. You're not trying hard enough. Heal him for six. Nice, Max Heal. Those are always good. Wild flailing. Um, really? That's all you did was four damage to one of the guys who was marked? You know that's actually pretty sad for, like, a giant death boss. Uh, I'm just going to start shooting you because of Chris. Because we've got a pretty good chance with the... Oh, no, wait. Only one of them has the clean guns, eh? This is the one you should be shooting. He actually should be stabbing. I'm so dumb. Oh, well. That's fine. We're, we're crushing this so far. I don't think he has a chance unless we, like, botch it and kill him somehow. Okay, so he's the one with the clean, with, who's cleaned his guns. So he should be shooting because he's got a pretty good chance to crit and do, like, a billion damage. So we keep chopping him. There's not a whole lot of tension in this fight. I'm sorry about that. I'm not necessarily trying to make it exciting, though. I'm trying to win. And so far, it's going okay. Healify. Obliterate masses. If that crits, it'll be bad. But without the crit, not so worried. Yeah, dude, you are not doing your job. Okay, you are stabbing. Nice. 12 point and the bleed. Because Buddy has like 0 blight, 0 bleed resist. So he is quite vulnerable to damage over time. Hitting for 10 is a little bit more serious. I'll give you that. But it's not enough because you're at 21. Um, if I'm lucky, you're dead. You're probably not. Oh, wait, you're bleeding. So you actually are dead. So he's technically dead. I'm a little bit concerned what happens if I enrage, if I trigger the enrage, though. So I think I'm actually going to finish him to make sure. Is even more horrible in death. I don't know if the, the I, I'm guessing the enrage doesn't make him, like, invulnerable, but I don't really know, so we're just going to... Something tells me this guy's not going to stand up very well without his friend. So what's your plan when you're solo there? Um, I'm gonna screw around and de-stress somebody because I can. Because I'd like to continue in this under. Uh, squeal. Wow! That is pretty impressive that you stunned my entire group. For that, you die. Okay, so we got a victory, Blood Charm. Plus 10 Blight Resist, plus 15% Bleed Resist, minus 12% Disease Resist. That's really interesting because the Blights and Bleeds are way more common, and resisting them is awesome, but Diseases are more permanent, which is bad. Uh, for Grave Robber only, plus 20% Scouting Chance, minus 1 Speed. I would probably take that deal if I had a Grave Robber. You don't have room to carry all this crap. Well, I don't have a grave robber, and I don't really care about them, so... Yeah, I mean, we could torch it up a little bit, but... The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep going in this dungeon now, just to see if I can get more stuff. So I'm actually going to pitch these bandages and take that. I'll probably be pitching this if something better comes along, though. We shouldn't... This is the boss chest. We shouldn't need, like, a thing, a key for it. Debuff stone. Plus 10% chance of debuff skills, minus 8 damage. That thing sucks. That's to you, thing. Don't have room for the gold. We're going to pitch this, too, because we don't really care about it that much. Although, was something else worse? That thing's pretty good. I don't like the Slayer's Ring, actually. I'm pretty sure I already have one, so we'll, I guess we'll do that. We're going to go on in the dungeon, since we're, like, just cleaning up here. We're at full... Well, we'll get... We'll be at full health. We have no stress, is the thing. And... We're pretty dangerous. And they're surprised. If they're surprised, I don't need to kill them as a high priority. I can start just doing 
the AoEs for maximum efficiency, and the fact that it kills someone anyway is pretty crazy. Hi. Could have done more. I could have done more de-stressing, but yeah, we'll just kill people. Don't have room for the crests. They only stack in what twelves. Yeah. It's only twenty-five gold. The question is, are we going to get more gold? And we have three jades, so they're actually not bad. Two citrines. That's still five hundred gold, though. Now we're going to get rid of the debuff stone because it's a piece of crap, and I've already got some. I am unlikely to need more debuff stones. If they come up with a better one, maybe I'll find a use for it. But there's a fight. No disease, no disease, no disease. Does she still have wasting sickness? No, I think I got rid of her wasting sickness. Because that's minus 50% disease resist, so she probably would have got a new disease there. Um, now we're still healing. He needs a lot of healing, actually. We don't, we don't need the team heal as much. Most of us are full or very close to it. That's a nice max heal. Good stuff. Ow. Resist! Awesome. Okay. Yeah, we can take it. And most of them have already gone. I'm not going to be able to kill him in one shot, so let's just start, like, the death engine. <laughs> start firing grape shot until everyone's dead, basically. Shotgun. Ooh, ooh. I got it. You have been carved. No disease, that's good. We're going to keep healing uh, JD here. Or Gabe, JD, whatever. Oh, I used the wrong heal. But since it still healed two to everyone, I guess it wasn't a waste. Okay, that's unpleasant. Please stop with the critting. That's, he's, ow, she's at six and bleeding for four damage for two rounds. Oh my god. Wish I hadn't thrown out that bandage now. Um, neither of them is going to go this round, so I'm going to AoE them anyway. But, like, damn. Um, I don't want to kill it. Because I need to heal him. Let's see if I don't have a stun. It can do some bad stuff, but I'm just hoping to get him healed up before we leave the battle. Because that's a lot, and we don't have food either. Um, you move further back. I don't know if that reduces his chances of hitting you at all, but... Um... If you move that, I don't want to move him for. I don't want to move Maggie further up because then she won't be able to do the single target heal. You miss with that vomit. You keep missing. Okay, single target heal. Good. Okay, now he's not gonna like bleed out. Um, since he's already gone, I guess we'll pile on some more ones. But we gotta kill this thing now. We're gonna start getting like milking the fight stress and all that stuff. No disease. That's good. Yeah, we know you need a healer. Oh, that's right, he can't attack from there. Whoops. Made sense at the time. Point blank shot! You have died. That thing does do a lot of damage. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. Some people are saying they like to get two, uh, two highwaymen that both have point blank shot and just have them in the front and keep switching back and forth, which... Seems viable. I mean, the point blank shot is very. It's plus 50% damage. And it knocks back an enemy. It's got regular accuracy. It's pretty strong. I don't know. Um, these only stack in fours, really. I guess that's a thousand gold, so it's just like stacking the gold, but like, goddamn. Uh, let's. The match let's is. Put that stuck. back up. A blazing star is born. Yeah, yeah. 255 gold. It's just 250. We're going to pass on that. The odds of that stacking more are pretty slim. Uh, this thing can remove bad things, but it can also stress you, like, a lot. Do, is, do I have anyone that wants to take that chance to remove something bad? And yeah, it's got penalty and... It's just a stress resist when it's dark. It's got some annoying things. Not a big deal. Whoops. Now, Maggie has a bunch of things that are all, like, not bad enough for me to spend money and time healing, usually, but some of them would be quite worthwhile getting rid of. Tell you what, Maggie, give it a shot. 
She's probably just going to get 60 stress, but give it a shot. Night blindness quirk removed. Good call me. There you go, Maggie. Don't say I never did anything for you. <laughs> Other than load you down with negative accuracy items. So there's a wall there, which we can get through with our shovel, or we could do a fight, but it's not looking like a lot of treasure. I mean, we get more treasure from a fight. I guess we'll go down here. There might be, like, a random fight or something, but since we have the shovel, we might as well go down here and just check whatever that item is. Such for the hell blockages are unsurprising. And then we should probably leave. These tunnels predate even the uh, that's probably not settlers. good without bandages, but I guess we'll try it because we're at full health. The health doesn't matter. We got, like, tetanus from it or something, that would be a real piss-off, but... Nothing here. Do we want to check one more? Maybe check one more room, because we can, even though without scouting. I know that... I know Matheson's low, but... Being overconfident, because we're pretty rough. And we do want to heal Matheson like crazy. Stunning one of them might have been better, but... Ah, I should have had the light going, though. That would have helped. They're bringing the AoEs. We can also bring the AoEs. Our chances of killing anyone are pretty low. I'd have to crit, basically. So we're going to go with our mass damage strategy. Uh, now, can you kill one of them? 7 to 13. The chances are still pretty low, but you can get one of them low enough. Or this is 4 to 7. So these guys still have 12 hit points, so even after this, there is a good chance that one grape that one AoE from that one grape shop what is that ability again? Whatever. One grape shop might not kill them. So I think I'm better off softening one of them up with this. Or getting lucky and killing him. I'm, I'm fine with that too. That's one less attack that we have to take. He's just attacking the front so he's not gonna hit our vulnerable guy. He is gonna hit our vulnerable guy because he hits everyone. He's a dink. You know who else hits everyone? Me. That was some nice damage, although they're going first. Damn it. Too fast. Okay, kill everyone. I think you misunderstood what I wanted you to do to everyone. Uh, let's actually AoE heal. Since that's mostly what we're taking is that damage. Okay. Let's try this again. Kill everyone. See, that, that's pretty good. That's that, that's that's acceptable. I'm willing to take the fact that he's lived, especially since the chances of killing him were very low. Die. That fight wasn't as bad as it looked, though, because Matheson, who was lowest, has a little bit more health now. And the rest of us are still pretty good. we got to, like, torch it up, though. We've got all these torches the light. The promise of safety. Let's surprise whatever's in this room. And then loot whatever's in this room. And then leave this accursed place. With all the loot. No disease, no disease, no disease. Urgh. I. Whenever I stick around too long, it's always the wasting sickness. Screw you, wasting sickness. Um, since this guy hasn't gone yet, I think I should probably just murder him. It, as much as I'd like to AoE these guys. That's one less attack we're taking. It's single target. It could be bad. This guy is pretty bad. That's at least not doing much damage, though. Although, stunning him before he acts is not very nice. Um, he's at 11, so yeah, I don't think he's going to die in one hit. Let's just keep team healing. 3 to everyone. That is 12 points of healing. That is some serious healing. Um, let's try and kill the... No, uh, this guy... Yeah, let's try and kill this guy. Okay, he should die to the first, like, area attack next round. So, of course, he goes first, and another disease. Now, maybe some stress, which I don't appreciate, but... Well, if he wa if he hadn't gone first, if it had been the other one, I would have Maggie try and kill him, because that would be well worth the, the gamble of missing, but... Since that's not the case, she's not going to be able to kill anyone else, so... Boom. Of course, he gets to go... Good dodge there by Matheson. I'm starting to wonder if he's going to get another disease. He's got the wasting sickness, so it's a lot easier to disease him now. So this should kill the middle prick. I mean, pig. That's definitely what I meant. And, well, 
now that it's only hitting two guys, the damage on this thing is not necessarily going to be as worth it, because it's a half damage attack, whereas this is regular damage, plus the bleed, so we can probably just kill this thing. Yeah. No more diseases. Still mad about that. And chop. Yeah. They really like that. We're leaving after this anyway. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Dodge stone. Minus two Power accuracy plus five home. dodge. That is interesting. I think I do want to keep that one. But uh, we're going to have to pitch some something to keep it. So this is only 250 gold. But then again, th this is not a chest. We don't need the key for it, so we'll pitch the key instead. Aha! Now, we can have somebody try that again. Again, we're probably going to get, like, a billion stress. He's got Wasting Sickness now to try and get rid of... Or no, sorry. He's got Wasting Sickness now, but I'm not sure I want to mess around with that, especially. I think I... See, the thing is, he has, like, no stress. Maggie has enough stress that it's... She's. I'm on the fence whether or not I'd want to... Like, I would probably send her on another mission without de-stressing her. But if I have to de-stress her, it will be worthwhile anyway. So let's see if she can get rid of one of her other bad conditions. Or if she just gets a ton more stress. Carving's grant great insight into the Warrens. She gained plus 20% scouting chance in the Warrens. She's now full up on positive traits, so if she gets another one, she's going to lose something, unfortunately. Although some of hers are not that relevant, because they kind of conflict with her aim penalty. Scouting? What the hell? Okay, you know what? There are two items there and no known fights, and we're actually better off than we were before that fight, other than stress, so we're going to keep going. We're going to milk this place. There we go. We got a portrait for our trouble. Now we have to pitch something to get our portrait, of course. Uh, ah, it's getting harder. A portrait's worth more than 250 gold. Yeah, salvage that torch. Oh yeah, we got no room for it. We can't just use it from there, right? No, okay. Let's see you, Torch. Where next? Um, let's see. There's one door, and then we're done. And there's nothing. Predictable, nothing. Do we want to go and fight that other fight just for the hell of it? We do get loot from fights, as a rule. We're in better shape than we were before. You know what? We're just going to go kill them, because we can. We're here to root out evil. Once we've, once we've gotten all the, like, loot... We then we now believe we're here to root out evil. Okay, these guys are bad because they can probably give diseases too. We're gonna AOE heal. I'm not worried about giant damage from any one of them, but it's gonna add up. Then they might stun people and do bad things, stress. If we had gotten surprise on this fight, we would have owned it so hard. Like we easily, all, virtually automatically kill all this in the first round. But nope, they're apparently all gonna go first. Just to be super annoying. Although, again, the damage doesn't matter because we're getting out of here after this. You see what I'm talking about? Um, well, he's not going to go and... Wait. Why are we not showing our icons for being for having moves left? I've only had one person go. We should still... Why do we not have the bars for who has yet to go? I'm confused. Uh, Carl, dis Carl can distress himself a little bit. Because I'm confused. Why did we not get to go? What the hell happened? Am I going crazy here? Like, we... That was the first attack that my team had made. And we're back to a room we've been to before, so we're done. Only two of my guys went that round. Is, I'm sure. Okay, how much further we got? We got 12 grand out of this, which is pretty good, and several heirlooms. Not to mention we got a bunch of cool, a bunch of trinkets, a couple of which seem like they might be useful. So many crests, a few of the other ones. Carl has not yet leveled up to three, which is good, and he got Slayer of Mankind, which is also quite good. Gave gained Slayer of Unholy, which is great, and Curious, which is not so great, but it's also not a severely bad trait. The worst thing that we got was that Wasting Sickness. And Maggie lost a bad thing and gained a good one, so... Uh, 
Very successful raid there. The poor caretaker. I fear his long-standing duties here have... What? ...affected him. So, this guy blacked out and misplaced a trinket from our bank. The plus 1% crit, minus 4 accuracy one. Which, actually, I don't miss particularly, but... The fact that he ran, that he got, went drinking and randomly lost a trinket is pretty obnoxious. Yeah. He's the one who's not named after anyone, actually. That's probably the problem. Mark Smith gained Meditator, so he now gets improved stress reduction from meditation and camping. And Gabe JD is now level 2, which means he can get some good, some good upgrades. And we've defeated all the first rank of bosses, so there's now like another set we got to take out. And we gotta we gotta level up a couple more people to three so that they and Eric can go and do level three missions. This team is already pretty much ready to go. I mean, I could send Gabe to go and get rid of his wasting sickness, but I don't know. Let's see what we're looking at for next missions. Just a regular one in the Warrens. Regular stuff. Short quests in the ruins. Uh, this level one and okay, so for Plague Doctor, plus twenty percent chance to blight skills, minus sixteen percent healing received. That would be pretty good for Ryan Bell, who has no trinkets, and he does use this as his primary damage dealing skill. Maybe it'd be worth unlocking a plague grenade for him instead of his disorienting blast if he had that bonus to blight chance. That might be good, because this is like, hits two targets for three blight around. That's assuming that we're not killing through this stuff fast enough, so it's... Because he's always going to blind first, so... It's still, it'd be really good even just with this. So that's interesting. We might want to go send, uh, send guys out to do that. What else we got? A level three quest, and a level five quest, which would be a bad idea, because we don't have the stuff. Does have a cloak of plus two speed, minus four accuracy, which I don't need that much. Not even unlocked the cove yet, or let alone the darkest dungeon. So, there's a lot left, left to go in this game. I think we're going to go try and level up some of these twos in the wield next time. So, you know, it's going to be hard to get up to four level threes. I mean, you technically don't have to be level three to go on a level three mission. I guess I could send a bunch of level 2 people on a level 3 mission. In this case, this one's better. But, that's true, actually. I could I could send, like, level 2... Sending level 2 guys, they'll get more stress, but otherwise it should be fine. And now they're, they're starting to be pretty well equipped. So maybe I'll save them, mess around, just, like, improve their stuff, and send some of the lower level people on to this one to grind, because it's only a level 1. It's level 1 medium quest. That's okay. We have... Roderick can go through and uh, and escort some of these guys. Uh, we'll, we'll see who. Well, I, I should figure out who I want to send. So, yeah, go back. Um, one thing I want to do before I forget, though, I'm going to go and go over here. Gabe leveled up. He now qualifies for better armor. It's got a big chunk of money for someone who I'm probably not sending on this quest, but we'll see. Just want to make sure I remember that. So, we could have Fresh Beats do tanking. He's got a lot of good traits. He's very tough. Reduce stress by 20, plus 10 accuracy. He would be a lot more dangerous if he had this camping skill and if we camped early. Give himself plus 10 accuracy. Although his accuracy would still be pretty bad with the crap attacks that are inaccurate. We actually, we need, we need to upgrade the blacksmith. Can we get... No, we we need two more deeds to be able to get the level 3 weapon upgrades. How are we doing for upgrading the guild? Well, we already have skills up skill upgrades up to rank 3. We're four deeds short of getting the rank four ones, which again, hardly anyone can use. But we are going to want that. On the other hand, we could make all the skill training 10% cheaper, which is pretty awesome. Because you can spend a lot of money on the skills. And this only costs four portraits. <coughs> I 
think I might actually do this. I think not too many people are going to need that yet. Getting it cheaper will a help us get there. A is paramount if one is to master the brutal arithmetic of combat. Okay. So what is our plan here? We want to send... Ryan Bell's only level one. We should level him up. Okay, this is starting to form a plan. We're going to send Roderick. It's, he can do some serious tanking there. Even though he's fragile, it'd be nice to get rid of that, but... We'll get him some more accomplishments under his belt, and then we'll worry about that. We're going to send... Our bounty hunter guy here is actually pretty effective. He can be one of our damage dealers for the group. I don't like the the scrolling for this is not convenient when you're dragging a guy. Ryan Bell would be good though. And we could send uh, Montraver here, who I think also needs to be named. Someone is looking to be named, but uh, we can send we can send him up there because he he has the vulnerability hex. He can mark targets for our bounty hunter, and he's a healer, so that that sort of works. So then, is that our whole team there? That's not bad. Move Carl down. So we have Rod, Bosk, the bounty hunter, Ryan Bell, to do things from the rear, and Motraver, who... I don't know if I need this pull. He only pulls guys from the back two rows. What could he get instead? Like, people are saying the sacrificial stab, stab is quite good for killing things. So I should maybe get him that. You know, like, it kills the crap out of Eldritch things in the front, this kills Eldritch things there at the back. Okay, I've got a lot of money. I'm going to overspend upgrading these guys, but... Some of them would be pretty good. And we did just make our skills cheaper, so let's take a look. Uh, you are in bad need of skills. So we're going to get your Zealous Accusation up, definitely. Your you Smite too. We don't need the Bulwark of Faith piece of junk. You know, it would probably be good to just have the stunning blow. We'll get that and level it up. Leveling it up is pretty cheap. Holy Lance, I don't think I'm going to level up. Because, again, the objective is not to have to use it very often. But I do have to make sure to go and get rid of that, get his, get him the stun lock in. So then, our bounty hunting friend is already all leveled up. Okay, so he's fine. <coughs> Oh, I almost exited out of there because it's just like dragging a new hero on top. Like, this doesn't look like you should be dragging a new hero on top, but you should. Okay, Montraver. He has not leveled up his stuff. He really needs to get the level 2 reconstruction. And so another level of mark. It would be more accurate. It would have a higher crit chance, which, again, we don't care about the damage, but that is a better chance of it reducing stress and stuff. It's not really a priority for money, though. We should worry about that money. But let's unlock Sacrificial Stab and level that up. And he can take that instead of his pull. And then Ryan Bell is probably all leveled up. Yeah, but we could... No, again, I don't think I need the Plague Grenade. I think Disorienting Blast is not a big deal, but it's fine. Get the Emboldening Vapors instead of this. There aren't a lot of situations where I want to be buffing instead of doing something directly, but... There are times when, like, plus 15% damage to someone else can be really worthwhile. If this was plus 15% damage to himself, I wouldn't think much of it. Just like, I don't care about the, the one that Fury has very much. He's just still spending a whole action. How many actions does it take for that 15% to be worth another whole attack? But, depending on the tar like, if the targets are blight resistant, then Ryan's doing shit for damage anyway. Not his fault. He's a Plague Doctor. But if the targets are all really blight resistant, he can give this bonus to someone who's really damaged, or he even he could give this bonus to someone who's got AOEs, not in this group as much, but it could be really worthwhile. So maybe I should unlock that instead of the other thing. And that'd be 18% damage with that, so we'll do that. Um... All these guys are level 1. They could get weapon upgrades. They all, ha they all have the armor upgrades, because that was a higher priority. So I'm not going to upgrade his damage, because he gets all of his damages from the Blight. Like, his actual base damage is getting nerfed by his abilities, so not a big deal. Um, him? He's got the 4 to 7 gaining 1 damage. Now that he's got the Sacrificial Stab, plus he does have the Eldritch Artillery, although it's heavily reduced damage too. I think it might be worth getting it for him, it's just a lower priority. We definitely want to upgrade his weapon, because he's primary damage dealer. 
And of course, Roderick, being a Crusader, is pretty damage horrific. So, what else are we going to do? We're not going on an. Ad we're not sending a primary team here on an adventure right now. So, Carl is at 23 stress, not a big deal. He doesn't have any particularly bad abilities. I might want to send Gabe to get rid of his wasting sickness. It's a little expensive for something that doesn't directly penalize him, but it'll save problems. So get rid of that for 1200 Yeah, we're not going to have money for everything in the universe. Money goes really fast. Now, we could send Maggie to de-stress. She has 35 stress. I don't know if that's the worst. Usually we can manage. We're, the, we're a power party. We should be blowing through stuff. Um, I'm not, she's currently not using the accuracy penalty items, which means if I got rid of her accuracy penalty from the yips, then she would actually be decent at stunning people, which would be of some value for sure. So maybe I should get rid of that for her. You know what, Maggie? I think it's finally time that you get cured of that. Horrible. I don't even know what that is, but I'm assuming it gives you bad shakes, and you've had those shakes for a hell of a long time. So, now we're all set up. This is our group here from Roderick down to Ryan Bell. We're going to send them to get us an item from the wield next time. To relieve stress, please hit the like button. And check out Tales from My D&D Campaign on YouTube.com slash DemonX.